U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump was wounded in a Pennsylvania rally shooting uh, yesterday. U.S. President Joe Biden now has ordered an independent review of security services. In his address, he's called for national unity. Uh, just a day after uh, Donald Trump arrived for the Republican National Convention with a call of unity after the assassination attempt on him. Uh, meanwhile, we're learning Joe Biden will also start campaigning after a pause from tomorrow. Biden has also spoken with Trump after this attack. The FBI has named 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, as the suspected gunman behind the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. The FBI said the agency will probe the assassination attempt as an act of terrorism. It further noted that the gunman who shot at the presidential nominee at an election rally acted alone. Officials also found bomb-making material in the suspect's vehicle. Investigations have revealed that Thomas Crooks has donated money to Democratic alliances in the past. Meanwhile, Russia has also released a statement and has accused Biden of creating an atmosphere for the assassination attack. Mira Shankar, former uh, Indian ambassador to the United States of America, is joining us live now on the broadcast. Ambassador Shankar, thank you very much for being with us today. My pleasure. Uh, let me uh, begin by just asking you about what your first... Uh, you know, reaction was to the news of this audacious assassination attempt on the former United States President uh, Donald Trump. Clear security lapse taking place? Yes, uh, in the sense that um, it's not that there haven't been attempts at different presidents in recent times. I mean, Trump himself uh, has faced uh, various attempts, but they were thwarted in the past. President Obama also had that incident where someone um, shot at the White House or tried to shoot at the White House from outside. So um, uh, this was not something, you know, which is um, totally unprecedented. Uh, and whenever there has been extreme polarization politically in the U.S., uh, there has been a spurt of political violence. Um, if we look at the 60s with the whole civil rights movement, then you have the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, of Martin Luther King, of Bobby Kennedy. Uh, go back further to the abolition of slavery, and you have the assassination of President Lincoln. Uh, for presidents have been assassinated in the past, and one nominee, which is Bobby Kennedy, have been assassinated. And there have been several attempts which have failed and have been thwarted. So um, in, in a sense, this was a shock because in recent years, political violence has come down and the Secret Service has been uh, more efficient at being able to prevent attacks. But in this instant, inc instance, obviously, uh, they did not succeed. Yes. Uh, also, you know, Ambassador Shankar, uh, of course, uh, it, uh, right now we don't quite know what the motive was, uh, but that's something perhaps that is the subject of investigation right now. Uh, what do you make of, uh, you know, the investigation leads uh, that have come in so far? Reportedly explosives were found in the car of this uh, individual. Uh, he's known in the past to have perhaps donated to Democratic alliances, but it's, it's too early to make out what his current political leanings were. Uh, also, right now, the FBI believes it was a lone wolf attack, uh, but perhaps that's too soon to, to say, isn't it? Well, I think that we have to wait for the full results of the investigation to be available. And speculation at this stage will not be helpful. Uh, we do know that uh, Thomas Matthew Crook who was a 20-year-old from Pennsylvania, he was working as a nursing assistant at a nursing and rehabilitation center there. Uh, a classmate of his uh, in the school which he attended said that uh, he was a loner and had been bullied mercilessly in school. Uh, so I think this is about what we know. His father was a registered Republican his mother was a registered Democrat. 
he himself was a registered Republican who had at some stage in his youth uh, donated $15 to the Democratic Party. So uh, we really don't know what the cause was. But there has also been, you know, a spate of gun violence in the U.S. Uh, by, uh, what could I say, socially maladjusted individuals who have a grudge against society for some reason. So we don't really know what the motive was, and we have to wait for the full investigation to be available. But this is what we know about Thomas Matthew Crook. Right. Now, also, Ambassador Shankar, this comes uh, in, in an election year, of course, for uh, the United States of America. There's voting, of course, that is all set to take place later this year. This is an, uh, an attack on one of the presidential candidates. What impact do you believe this, this incident is going to have on the upcoming election and on, in particular on Donald Trump's campaign? Well, it will, I think, increase public support and sympathy for Trump who's seen as a victim of an assassination attempt. And uh, the fact that he handled himself uh, well in the crisis will also, I think, go in his favor. Uh, on the other side, the Democratic Party is in a state of confusion still about whether uh, President Biden will step down and there will be another candidate or whether he will continue and concerns about his age have been mounting, especially after some, uh, you know, lackadaisical uh, performance during the presidential debate and in his press conference where he uh, confused different leaders. Uh, and uh, so I think that this weighs in favor of Trump. But we have to wait and see because uh, in the national polls, the two candidates were running neck and neck before the presidential debate. Uh, though in the five or six swing states, which are going to determine the outcome of the election, President Trump was ahead uh, in most of them and Biden was ahead in one of them. So uh, already, you know, there was an advantage for Trump. And I think this is going to stack the cards perhaps more in his favor. Yes. Also, Ambassador Shankar, uh, you know, as, as far as, of course, uh, Russia's statement is concerned, they've, they've said that Biden is responsible for this vitiating environment which has led to this attack. Uh, but what does it really tell us, this incident about the current state of affairs in the United States of America? Obviously, a very divided uh, polity in society there currently, uh, and, uh, you know, which is leading to such uh, an audacious attempt on the former president's life. Yes, I think America has been very polarized uh, and there are huge differences on a range of issues between the two candidates, uh, ranging from the war in Ukraine to immigration policy, to policy on domestic taxation, uh, to policy on climate change. There's a huge gulf between the two candidates. And um, of course, the rhetoric on both sides has been highly polarizing. But in the wake of this incident, I think President Joe Biden has said very emphatically that there can be no place for political violence in the United States and that this is a moment where all of America should come together and there is need for unity. And President Trump also, if you see, has reiterated the same thing in his tweets, saying that in his speech at the convention, where he was earlier planning to attack the policies of Joe Biden, he's changing the draft to reflect the need for unity and for Americans to come together at this moment. So, in directed that a full and thorough investigation be carried out quickly so that the results are available. Right. Uh, also, you know, there, there have been serious uh, lapses here. Uh, also, do you believe this is a wake-up wake call uh, for the Secret Service in the United States and the kind of security 
uh, that is accorded to such uh, high profile individuals? Yes, uh, but you know, I would say that 100% um, security is perhaps not an easy task. Uh, the issue is that uh, if there's even 1% failure, the consequences can be uh, drastic. So, uh, you know, the Secret Service cannot afford to fail. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.